Let's take a look at morphing in Reactor. I've brought up the Carbon 2 instrument, one of the many instruments that comes with Reactor. It really is wonderful that you get all of these incredible instruments and effects, and that's even before you start doing any programming. Reactor is just a great, great product. So we're working with the Carbon Synth now, and if you haven't shown the Snapshots window, you'll want to do that. The Snapshots window has all of the presets that come with Carbon 2, as well as any that you've created yourself. Now, if you don't see the snapshot window, you can click this icon here. Let me close it and click it. And there's the snapshot window. Now in the center is the area for morphing. Let me show you how easy it is. You pick a preset. I'm gonna click select A and choose a different preset. How about this one? And then I put the bird in select B, but let's pick another one here. So you can just select one or the other and you'll see the presets there. And then this slider will morph between them. Pretty cool, huh? You can do it with any two presets and you'll notice all the parameters change in carbon. The morph time determines how long it takes to get from one preset to the other. Let's set it to zero. And now let's bring it up pretty high. Let's say seven seconds. And it will take seven seconds to get to the end. So let's bring it back down here. Now it's great working with Reactor in Core. And it would be really cool if we could map one of our controls to that morphing slider so that in real time we could morph between any two presets. So let's try and set that up. We're going to switch over to Core. I've loaded the Carbon 2 plugin in the first slot, and I've brought up the first preset. And we can go to our user page here, and I can learn any control. Just move a knob and move a control, and now that knob will affect the control. When I twiddle the knob, you'll see it moves in Reactor. That works perfectly. So it seems logical that we would be able to do that with the morphing slider. Let's make sure we've selected the carbon instrument so we see our presets. Now we're going to go into core, choose learn, move a knob, and move the slider. And it didn't work. Let's try it again. Move the knob, move the slider. Nope. Well, it turns out that you can't automatically learn any of the controls in the snapshot window. Bummer. Luckily, there is a way to map that slider to a control, but it requires a little programming in Reactor. Don't get scared, it's not too hard. I'll show you in the next video.